This is Missed Fortune Radio with New York Times best-selling author and your host, Doug Andrews. Well, let's talk about uh, what you can do to protect yourself. Uh, In my book, Last Chance Millionaire, I talked about the three houses, like in the story of the three pigs. And this will help you understand how you can have the best of both worlds, how you can have your money protected when the economy goes south, so that if the market, the stock market or the real estate market loses, you don't lose. If the market goes up, when it goes up again, because the stock market and the real estate market is like a person with a yo-yo walking up some stairs. And so if you want to participate when it goes up without the risk of when it goes down, listen closely. I talked about houses of straw, sticks, and bricks in my book. And in this webinar, I'll even go into this in much greater detail, but listen closely just for a few minutes. I safely tuck my serious cash. Now, what's serious cash? That is my home equity. It is the money I've earmarked for my retirement rather than putting money into IRAs and 401ks where they're going to be taxed to death when I withdraw that money. And that's why I've never owned an IRA or 401k, never have and never will. And so I put all of my serious cash for my future retirement, my home equity, my children's college funds and so forth into houses of bricks. Now, what are those? Well, first of all, those are safe, secure areas where I house my serious cash, where I do not lose when the market goes down, but when the market goes up, I make money. And there are four or five alternatives. I'm going to share the best one with you here in just a moment. But let's talk about the houses of straw and sticks for a minute so that you can get sort of the the whole picture. In the story of the three pigs, remember, there's all three of those. And the big bad wolf was always blowing down the houses of straw and the houses of sticks. Well, what are those? The houses of straw are is what I equate to the stock market. When you put your money out into stocks and growth mutual funds and so forth, When the economy is doing well and those houses are standing, you might make money some years, 20 or 30%. But when the big bad wolf, the Hurricane Katrinas and Rita's and the 9-11s and the recession that we're in right now and all these different types of of cycles that we go through. In fact, history has shown us that about every eight years, we go through a cycle where the real estate market dips down and the stock market takes a serious correction and so forth. And sometimes it's a couple of years longer, sometimes a couple of years shorter, but we're going to all always go through these cycles. I can show you history. We've been doing it for years and decades. When the big bad wolf blows down the house of straw, I don't lose money because my money is not over there. It's not lodged in the house of straw. I do not put my serious cash in the stock market. But do you know what? I get to participate indirectly whenever the market does go up because my money safely tucked over in the house of bricks the return on that money is linked to an index like the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones or the Eurostock index or whatever one I choose. And the financial institution has to pay me what ever the S&P 500 does, if that's the one I chose, when it's making money up to a cap. A cap means that if it makes, you know, 15% and my cap is 17, I'll, I'll get 15. But if the cap is 15 and it makes 20 or 21, I don't earn 21. I only earn 15 because my money is actually not lodged over in the stock market. I'm not at risk over there. But I get whatever that market does without my money being exposed to that risk. Now, when the market goes south and it loses money, I don't lose because I get a guaranteed return of, of maybe even just zero or one or two percent or three percent. I've had, I've owned these for the last decade. And whenever the market went down, I was protected. I earned one, two or three percent. But when the market went up, I earned 12 and 15 and 17, even 21.59 percent. I remember uh, getting that statement back in 1998. But when the market went south, I did not lose money in 2001 and 2002. The same thing is true of the house of sticks. That's the real estate market. That's moderate risk. But see, my home went down in value about $400,000 this last year, but I didn't lose because I took my home equity out of my house when it was worth more and I safely tucked that money over in the house of bricks so that when my house goes down in value, I sleep fine at night because my money's not in my house. It is safely tucked over earning a rate of return much greater than the cost of the mortgage, especially with the tax 
tax deduction. And so as I will explain here as we come back after this break, if you have your money tucked in the house of bricks, you can participate indirectly when the markets are doing well, whether that's the real estate market or the stock market. But when those suffer, when those go down, you don't lose. This is called indexing. This is Missed Fortune Radio with Doug Andrews. 